This will be a quicker, I'll tell you in advance so you can relax and just go on the ride. I'll tell you what we're going to do. This, for this meditation and guided journey, we're going to return to our meadow on our mountain. And we will return to the woods. In the center of the woods, there will be a tree that is calling to you. As you approach the tree, it will open up in whatever way that presents itself. It may actually get a hole in it, or it may just be like, you know, or the bark may open up, or it, you may just feel like you and it are, your energies are merging. You're going to go into this tree. And you're going to rise up through the tree and up out the canopy. Patty, have you done this one before? Okay. Well, I originally learned it from final, actually. Yeah, I originally. Yeah. So you're going to rise up through the top of the tree. In shamanic worlds, or shamanic worlds, there are three worlds. There's the lower realm, which is like, you know, all of earth magic. There's the middle realm, that's a 3D everyday life. And there's the higher realm. And that's like the higher frequencies, and that's where the gods and the great spirits come and visit with us. We're going to go through the tree that's connected to all three realms. Roots in the lower realm, body in, in the middle realm, canopy in the higher realm. And go up, rise up to the clouds where you are just going to float. And we're going to look at that same vista that we looked at before, but you will see this vista. It's not just like a, a regular vista. This is actually the vista of all your life. This mountain that you're in, it's really like each of us has our own sacred spirit mountain. This is your sacred spirit mountain. And it, it will present itself on however it's relevant for you in this life at this moment. This tree is your sacred tree. This cave is your sacred cave. The heart of this mountain is like your soul heart. You know, this is a very special place. And this is um, beautiful, deep shamanic magic that we're doing for this guided, these guided journeys today. Um, there are other ways of visiting past lives, but I knew Kathy with this beautiful nature home and her, that there'd be a lot of earth magic here. So it's, you know, a wonderful place for us to do this. As you float, you may have a companion with you. And this will be like a companion for your soul. We each have like guardians that help us. You may find your guardian angel or like a spirit mentor or um, it might be a dragon or you know your childhood best friend or one of your past lives we're going to invite a companion to join us and whatever companion presents itself will be the companion and the two of you will just float around and see the vista of your life as I told you, you all are no spring chickens when it comes to reincarnation. The geographic terrain has nothing to do with actual geography. You may find, here's the life where I was in ancient Egypt right next to, here's the life in 1930s New York City. Like, And some of them may expand and contract. Some of them may even be moving around as they're, as, you're going through today's experience, you may find some of your past lives are feeling a little closer to you, or maybe you've given a release and they're pulling back. Or So we're just going to glide around. And when you see a life that kind of piques your interest, that kind of lights up, you can float down and see what that life presents of itself. Unlike the past life regression that we just experienced, where you're going sequentially through points, this may be the life that's waving, going, hey, hi, just want to say hello. By the way, I had a great life. <laughs> and I hope you come visit sometime and you may see, like, this person and their family and what they're doing. Like, it's a very different experience. 
and uh, then actually being the life. You're like on a guided tour that you can check out any life you want. This is a great exercise to do, like when you're getting ready for sleep at nighttime or for a meditation or, again, like a little 10-minute meditation to start this before you go for a walk in the woods. And then you can just, like, carry on conversations with lives while you're walking. Um, and it's also a good way to get sneak previews of some of your lives. So if you have, like, you know, like for me, there was one life where I was a sailor and I died while being keel hauled. That is a terrible way to die. You know, they actually take you by the ropes and they drag you along the, to the under the boat and up against the side and all the barnacles are ripping your flesh apart. And he drowned in the middle of that. It was like, and they're like, oh, well, just toss him in and, you know, shark fate me. It was like a terrible way to go. So visiting that life easier to do in this kind of situation where he was just one of many and he wasn't in trauma in this situation no one's in trauma okay they're in like the higher sense of the life they live and then another time i went and did visit him but because we had already met and we had a connection you know i was not traumatized by his short and kind of disgusting life it's you know it's not like oh i drink tea every afternoon and then i was keel hauled he is like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um why don't you get ready and we will start this meditation to have a bird's eye view of your total existence as an incarnating and reincarnating human soul. Although some of you may say, well, I started out with that, and then the next thing I knew I was off in another dimension. That's okay. That just means another aspect of your soul wants to, like, say hello. There's no wrong here. Okay. 